All right, today we're going to be reviewing the Quiet Cat cargo trailer. Um, I got it for Christmas for my wife, and uh, it's a little past the season, but I'm finally getting some time to build it. I figured I would do a nice review because there's really not that many uh, review videos of this out there. And with the bike, too, I, I purchased the bike, the, the Quiet Cat ranger and uh there wasn't that many consumer videos so i thought it would be nice just to kind of open it build it see the consumer side of it so it is 370 msrp so but there was a good black friday sale and christmas sale that my wife said she got it on so they're, they start out around that, but you know, if you keep your eyes open for a nice sale, they, I do see them go on sale a lot. So uh, the base of the load is 48 by 18. So that's like the where you can put your your load at, how much it's so. And you know, it, it all says it's a load capacity of 100 pounds. And I think everybody, when they're looking at this, can I haul a deer out on it? I mean, to be honest, I mean, what else are you going to be really using this? I'm probably going to be using it a lot for chores too. You know, cause my pole barn's about a hundred yards away from my house. So if I can run, grab some, throw it on the, the trailer and run it back up here real quick with all that, that, that might be something I'm doing. But in the field testing, I want to be able to, to hold a good size mature buck. And that's going to be past a hundred pound load shelf so i know they probably say that for liability reasons maybe so you don't overdo it if you bend the axle or something that was on you i, I get it uh but i think at the end of the day we're all getting this to haul deer out of there so mature doe maybe gut it out and all that will be around that 100 pound mark you know give or take and so that's the main i think purpose of this would be to haul a deer out of the woods or from a trail edge or, you know, get to point A to B, you know, if you have like a, a nice pop-up blind, some gear and all that, you know, hey, maybe you use a little buddy heater or whatever, and you may need to get a little buddy heater with a propane tank out there to your, your already set up blind. Hey man, that's just, this is probably what you're gonna go to and all that. Uh, so it, it does say it has a quick attachment, so we'll have to dig in there to see the quick attachment. Uh, that's gonna be make it, I, I wanted to know how fast you can hook and disconnect and all that because you know a lot of my properties I, I'm taking my my the bike out and then you know taking it with me and then hooking it back up and so how easy I can hook that up there but how strong is that quick connection going to be there too so uh, they said the trailer itself weighs 38 pounds so I mean it's a pretty good size uh, trailer I think it's going to be you know a nicer end trailer for that that price point you're all, you're almost at 400 bucks so that's a show should be able to withstand some stuff so let's uh dig in and start getting this thing assembled give it a little over we'll look right here's a cover and it's on there pretty good and my bike when my bike came it had these same covers so they do a pretty good job of protecting it and shipment and all that so you're not stabbing your other tire and all that but i'm pretty sure these are the same brand tires that were on my bike let me give it a look over and uh, they are not so we'll see how these ones do they the grip looks good i don't see no major you know blemishes or you know all that because uh i know a lot of the tires these days on bikes are chinese made so i i assume that's what these are i mean it's the way the the world works is most in chinese but somewhat inflated it but pretty much there um other tire Uh, other tire good same thing this is the base it does it is has suspension on it. i did not see that you know like i said my wife purchased this i kind of gave it a quick over and uh it was kind of a little t it was for christmas so the season was almost over here in michigan but uh i definitely like how to see in the suspension because you know you have a hundred pound load on there it's gonna take a beating or it's gonna be really bouncy so um the load shelf is 
pretty assembled. There's two bars. Uh, don't know. Imagine this is the actual trailer hitch. Here must be the quick connect system. So it looks like on this quick connect system, kind of looks like a spring with a pin. So that's how it is. It looks like you probably are going to assemble this. I'll probably look at the directions a little bit more. And um, so we'll get up there right here. So basically this looks like the trailer hitch and uh, here it, I am, I assume you assemble this to your back, uh, uh, you know, axle or your, your bike. And then this is just the pin, move the pin. I'm just trying not to drop it right here. This would, stay, this would stay fixed on your bike. And right here would just be the trailer hitch itself. Sorry if we're out of, but uh, I imagine these straps or to keep it just in case the hitch fails or the pin comes loose and all that. So quick, you know, overview without actually looking at the directions, you know us guys, we just kind of, you know, over that. I mean, the quality there, this looks like aluminum, you know, decent steel, springs in it work. I mean, this is, I mean, this is good stuff you know, for what it is steel. It doesn't seem like it's gonna bend unless you you hit it really good or really well. So, let's see, we can. And basically that's it. I mean, there's, that's what, six parts, two wheels, four, look like probably spanner brackets. And then the trailer hitch, and then the actual load shelf, and then so it looks like the assembly is gonna be fairly easy. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of assembly real here quick, and then I gotta undo a nut on my back tire. It does say rear left of the bike where they want the the hitch, and that's where we're gonna assemble it. So let's assemble the cargo, and then. I'll get the nut off and put it on the hitch and all that, and then we'll take it for a test drive. So, real quick, and uh, just quick bracket here. And so there is multiple positions on on this where you can set these pins on this. Uh, the back brace of the load shelf. So that would be the back brace, right? Wheels, yes. So you can have it as a steep angle or, so I already have it step at this one, but I can show you in, uh, you basically undo this pin. You can have it at this one. Oh, wrong pin. Or the other position, you can have it as it is a little bit down. So basically, you can have it almost flat. You know, you got a basically flat, and then you got a little bit with the backrest on there. So if you, you know. Just kind of pick your poison on where you want it. I'm, I'm probably gonna want it all the way with the backrest on there. I'm building this for the first time, so there's no uh, camera tricks, and uh, you know this is all me and you learning how to do it. But these is cool design. It looks like just stick the axle in, push this pin in there, boom, lock, it locked in there. So that's super convenient. I mean, you can tear this thing down if you're going on a longer trip and you know, you don't have this big old cart trailer all up there. You can deassemble it, take the wheels off, uh, take the, the trailer hitch off itself, fold it up on itself, and then you have low space taken up. We'll put up the other wheel, just simple. Again, boom. And now just uh, install the hitch. 
There's a pin to line it up. And let's get this in there. In there. Boom. All right, now it's fully assembled. Basically, all I have to do is hook up the trailer hitch on the bike. But like I said, under two minutes, if you do it one or two, three times, I think you could do this under two minutes for sure. Um, you know, fold it all down, you're going on a long trip, or you're just going to the property up north and got a lot of stuff, coolers and bags and all that with other people. This can fold down to a low profile, you know, all that. Boom, Dude, two minutes, you're fully ready, ready to go. Adjustable back. Everything feels pretty good. All the pins do have straps, so if you uh, pin wasn't fully set, it comes out, it's still strapped right there just in case. There was no extra with the purchase of it, but they're pretty standard pins. You don't need no specialty or anything like that. So I'm gonna get the, the hitch on and uh, probably take it for a rip. It does say back left axle, so I'm gonna do that. It's a 19 millimeter, good old metric system. Imagine you can use electric if you want. Kind of makes it dummy proof. You know, there's only one way to kind of put it unless it's going into your brake disc. So I get chugga chugga. Chugga, you know, always do it on the second chugga to make sure it's tight. But uh, basically right now, I think we're good to rock and roll. So let's get this thing outside and, uh, and see how it does. Uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so all the neighbors are out and all that. So I'll probably, they'll probably enjoy the show, but there's a lot of cars driving by up and down. Um, the backyard just a muddy mess. And the one thing I've learned about this bike is it can handle mud but it, it will not like it on some on thick mud. So I'm just gonna refrain from this video is to stay out here where it's pretty dry and all that. So uh, I'm gonna take it for a ride, see how it bounces around with no load on there and then uh, go from there. But uh, like I said, after they get in the hitch on there, it is an easy, quick connection, uh, less, th less than 10 seconds to, to put it on there. So. If you have to take it off, you know, turn around on a trailhead or something like that, boom, it, it's, it's not, it's not going to be no setback. So Well, it did good. I, it wasn't really bouncing around. I couldn't even tell it was really on there. I couldn't even, uh, it wasn't like jerking me or nothing. That's why I was kind of wor uh, worried about if I got the mono wheel one. I can't remember what that one is actually called, but uh, I thought it'd be harder to turn. But this one, easy. It wasn't bouncing. It wasn't making a lot of noise. So uh, I'm going to see if I can strap some weight to it and kind of just what I could find in my garage real quick. I wish I had some bags of salt or something, but uh, I got a car battery, a 32 uh, bottle case of water, and a big shot target. So we're at like 75, uh, you know, it's kind of awkward. I just have a cam strap with some carabiners on there. So uh, I'm not seeing if it's gonna fall or shift off and all that. I just wanna see how it handles that load. So this is probably like 75% of what it, the max load is. And uh, we'll see how it handles and uh, go from there. I mean, I think that's what I really, I like, cause that, I, I really was worried about that, that trailer hitch uh, 
the actual you know tongue of it you know but it's a spring like a, like a, a spring so if you kink it or go you know sideways and nothing it doesn't i mean it does bends but it goes right back to to true so uh i think that's a great design you know really worked it out uh just in case and all that and i was kind of backing it up and all that if i had a maneuver with a full load on there it wasn't too difficult and all that so i really think it's uh it's it's handling the weight and all that but so we'll see if the the bike will handle you know i'm like 220 and you know 75 pounds and a 38 pound trailer so you know we have a 100 pound load on the base of the back and you know another 200 so it's pulling 300 pounds to see how the bike does and all that Wow, it actually did uh, pretty good uh, for what it was. Is um, the bike did pretty good? I mean, I'm at three bars and all that, and I'm just using throttle, not pedal assist, like I usually would use. Uh, you know, to help start up and, and third gear or third power, I think it was called. So it it handled it good, pulled it good. I think it well performed what uh, I'm hoping. You know, 75 pounds. Uh, you know, maybe. You know, I'll see when, you know, I get the true weight of, you know, putting a mature Whitedale on there or, you know, a big, you know, nanny on there to see how it does. But I don't see why it couldn't handle it. Um, the tires seem good. They're not squatting. Axles are not turning or anything. You know, until I get a true season test to see how it does, you know, it's a whole one thing when it pulls out of the box. But after one season and... I'm not nice on my gear. I can tell you that. I'll be. I'll give you the true, honest season review on stuff. And uh, but right now, it you know, it, it blows my expectation what it was going to be. To be honest, because some of them deals out there, you get them on Christmas. It seems like they're trying to unload them because it wasn't the best. They did think of a lot of things on this. So I, I at this point. I'm liking it, and I don't regret the purchase, even though my wife bought it. But I'm saying, uh, I think it's going to be a good one, and uh, it's going to help us out. You know, I'm not going to use it every time. I all that. I think that you know, in some scenarios, I can get uh, a sled back there or something, or you know, I don't take my bite on every hunt. So, um, long winded short. I think it's a great product, and I. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd probably buy again at this point. So, but on my stuff, I'm going to start doing out of the box reviews and then end of season reviews on some of the stuff, you know, just quick, maybe one, two minute things on things I didn't like and don't like. I mean, on this thing, I, the things I don't really like about this, if you, if I go into that is that there's no, uh, you know, like, points to hook a, a strap on i mean you can hook on this, this frame i mean like, th this is just you know nick picking that at this point but there's no like you know just little corners that you could do there's all that and i think a cool attachment uh if you could do without the bike get a hand hitch or something you can you know use this as a deer cart by itself if you don't have the bike at the moment or you can't get your bike down in the valley or something like that or you know you get your bike and then it's another 200 yards to get the deer or whatever you want you know out of there and you can't have this with your bike i think it would be really cool if they can get like a hand you know thing on there so i'm gonna see if i can maybe maybe fab something up or uh maybe they do i don't think they do i have looked on the website and all that but i'd love to see something where you can just put on there and you can drag the trailer by itself without the e-bike i think that would be a fantastic idea so uh i don't want to have to carry two deer carts with me or something like that or uh you know you utilize this as an actual deer cart i think that would be a great upsell on it you know but out of that i mean everything came assembled pretty good um suspension on there full 75 pound load handled it real good i know this is just flat ground but uh i think this is pretty good for what it is